it started with the uh, TV show Flipper. Maybe somebody remembers that. And Flipper was a dolphin and the little freckled faced boy. Well, I took on that character and I always wanted to live on the water and have my own skiff and go fishing all the time. And, and so that's how I got to Docktown. I always wanted to live like this. One day I found a little boat and it was out, hanging out on the back of a guy's pickup truck. So <clears throat> I said, what are you doing that boat? I said, well, you want it? I'm like, yeah. So I bought this boat from him. Then I had to find a place to launch it. Somebody said, well, you, <clears throat> down in Redwood City, they have some launch ramps down there. And somehow I wound my way into Docktown and found their launch ramp. Took the little boat out, me and my son, and we came up the creek here. And I noticed these people building these floating homes up here. And I asked the guy, well, can anybody build one of these? And he goes, yeah, you can build one. That's how I got to Docktown, from Flipper. <laughs> I knew about this place because I belonged to the Yacht Club here for 14 years. My company moved 15 miles north, so suddenly my commute became 26 miles one way, and I said, I can't do that from South San Jose. Studios in this general area, from Mountain View all the way up to, to San Mateo, were $1,500 a month or more, and I love being on the water. I love boating, so it's a good fit. I found the listing on Craigslist. And it was a listing for a pretty affordable but large sounding home. So I got kind of excited and I looked up floating home. So I'm from the Midwest, I had no idea what that was. So when he came home, I said, you have to look at this and just have an open mind. And he grew up in Marin, so he was familiar with Sausalito. I came out here and saw it and loved it right away. But I did grow up in Marin, so I was very familiar with it. And I'd actually seen them when they were building them five or six years previously, driving down the freeway and didn't know they were here. You know, once we kind of started looking at it, parked across the way, kind of scoped out the neighborhood a couple nights in this parking lot, spent a few hours over there just to see what was going on in the neighborhood. Didn't realize that she had put our 30 days notice in with our rent, with our current apartment, and it was go time at that point. It's either move in or find a shelter. <laughs> well, I built this boat in Alviso, and in 1998, I uh, motored it here to Dogtown. Found it, found it and uh, luckily found it because it's not a very easy place to find. And uh, I knew somebody that was a shrimper and uh, he told me about the uh, dog down. I was raised in San Jose with my aunts. When I became five years old, uh, I was allowed to live with my dad. We were members of the drum circle and the drum circle got disenfranchised from its home in the senior center in Redwood City. And somebody knew the commandant the, of the Yacht Club, and they said, oh, that's a great place to hold a, a drum circle. So we all came here and we had the drum circle here. We looked around and we went, wow, look at all those guys in the marina. They have such a great time and it's so wonderful living on the water and it's reasonable and an economical place to live. Maybe we should consider moving there instead of getting a house on the heart. This house became available and it, was, it hadn't been lived in for 13 years. The, the minute the macerator pump stopped working, the guy moved out. So, <laughs> and nobody wanted to touch it, and we thought he wanted an enormous amount of money, and we eventually got it for a little or nothing, but it was such a derelict that it had to be rebuilt from head to toe, so there isn't, the only thing left in here that from the original house is a staircase. About a year working at West Valley Flying Club, met Chris and we fell in love and then we decided we wanted to move in together so we were looking for places and I was thinking in my mind just the usual regular apartment hunting he was looking for something a little more unique maybe a cabin up in the woodside area or living on a boat but I'd never lived on a boat but I was definitely open to checking it out he looked on Craigslist lo and behold this uh, boat was actually available here at Docktown checked it out and you know he tried not to sway me because um, wanted me to make my own decision but I fell in love with the boat and by the end of that afternoon we basically uh, decided that yeah we'll go ahead and buy it and it, here we are to this day <laughs> <laughs> well you bought a bunch he had a place in Seaport a business out by the water he loves the water he's a water boy and he bought a barge and he came home and he said Hey babe, I bought a barge <laughs> and I'm going to have my office in there. So we're like, okay. So we came over and we saw this big barge and he said he was going to have his office and what a pool table and really cool office space. And that was his whole dream. 
what happened. <laughs> well, you guys came, remember? We have three boys and a girl. So they came and they loved it here. So we had little boats, grandma lives next door. And um, so they paddled around and it ended up where the boys didn't want to leave. So they wanted to make it our home. So Clint didn't think I'd last, but we, we've been here now, what, almost eight, eight years. years? Been looking at Docktown for quite some time, thinking of, of what, different ways to, to spend my retirement. Always came back here because I really liked the way it looked and I liked the, the free feeling of it. I have a friend who's a master mechanic at the uh, Sea Scouts. This boat came up, they were willing to sell it less expensively to a friend of the Sea Scouts, who I was. I bought this boat up in, in Delta. The, uh, the captain of the local Sea Scouts was willing to captain me down here, as well as my buddy who's the master mechanic, so I was feeling very confident because that was a big stumbling block. I'd never owned a boat before, let alone uh, captained it for 11 hours down the Delta through the bay and down to uh, Docktown Marina. Got some friends together and we spent the day coming down from the Delta. It was wonderful. Now that it's here, it's doing pretty well. I like that. Yeah. Thank you.